Hey everyone, Clips here. Um, today we're going to start our tutorial series. Um, and when I say our, I mean mine and Car Wash Yo. Uh, we create mods for those of you that don't know who we are. We've created the Building Extras mod and the um, Valentine Extras mod and many other small mods as well. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed to those, you should definitely do so. They bring a lot of new um, content to the game. Um, for you guys to build so uh, yeah definitely check those out I may put links in the uh, description as well um, okay so for today we are going to um, what are we going to do today I don't even remember oh yeah that's right we're going to set up a mod for the first time um, you guys are I'm going to show you guys how to uh, do the first few steps that you have to do to get a mod set up and ready to uh, be, you know, uh, just set up and ready to be modified. So you can modify the game how you want to modify it. And um, you have to do these first few steps before you do anything, um, you know, for the mod to work correctly in order for it to cook correctly. So, and this is also how the mod will be um, set up to be stackable unless you go and change core files. But anyway. I'm not going to go all into that. Um, I do want to let you guys know I do live on a busy street, so you will hear a lot of probably background noise like cars driving by or whatever, or my dog barking because he's in the room as well. But don't worry about any of that. Okay, so let's get started. So when you open up the dev kit, this is what it's going to look like. You won't see all of this stuff over here. That's just different mod stuff I was working on, uh, testing and stuff. So don't worry about that. It will look, will look similar to this. On this left hand side over here you have all the folders in the dev kit that you have access to everything in the primal earth folder is just everything that's in the game um, things that they're testing things that are going to be coming out soon and all of that we'll get to that later on um, in a later episode but for now we're just going to be getting a mod set up for the first time um, so first thing you want to do is you want to click on the mods folder and you'll see all the different mods come up that i've been working on or created uh, you know stuff that's car wash has been working on and all that so when you click on the mods folder you won't see any of this stuff in here you'll only see the generic mod um, where is it yeah the generic mod folder and uh, dino arena raptor claws passenger saddles um, actually you may not even see these two but it doesn't matter all we need is gen generic mod for today so first thing you want to do is right click and go to new folder and for today we're just going to call it test mod you can call it whatever you want as you can see I've called some of my building extras crown mod Ooh, excuse me um, all that stuff so it doesn't matter what you name it and after you rename it just click anywhere so it'll save so we named it test mod um, then what you need to do next is click the little arrow over here um, on your mods folder and you want to go to the generic mod and all these files in here you're going to need so we're going to hold control we're going to click one two three and we're going to drag them all to the mod folder we just made which is test mod or whatever you named yours and when you let go of the mouse, it's going to give you three options. Copy here, move here, or create child here. We're going to always copy here. And for those of you that have just opened up the dev kit and haven't done anything yet, when you first copy these three files, depending on your, uh, you know, your machine, um, it may take a while. You know, five to 20 minutes, honestly. Um, so if you notice yours taking a while, just go ahead. Um, pause the video and go do something I don't know come back later because it can take 5 to 10 20 minutes um, for these files to copy even though they're really small it's just how unstable the dev kit is at this moment um, but I'm sure they're gonna fix that so anyway after you've done it for the first time it won't take long at all okay alrighty so we've copied ours over we click on our test mod folder and you see all the three files in here now um, now you see that they all have uh, these little stars on them that means that the files are not saved 
So what we're going to do is we're going to rename them uh, to whatever our mod name is. Um, and after we do that, they will save and the stars will go away. So for now, uh, we're going to be changing the generic mod part of the name in each file. So you want to right click and rename. And we're going to rename it just to test mod because that's what we're naming our mod right now. You may hear me crack my fingers throughout the video because it's just something that I do sometimes. So, um, so yeah, first time you're renaming something, give it some time. It may take a little bit. Um, and honestly, the dev kit at this moment is pretty iffy. Um, saving something or moving something could very well crash it so if it does crash don't fear just open it back up and refollow the steps you'll be fine alrighty so now we're going to be changing the test game mode file we're going to right click rename and we're only going to change the generic mod part of it we want to leave the test game mode part and all that so we're going to leave it test game mode underscore test mod and it's good to keep um, these files named the same so you notice how this one's test mod this one's test game mode test mod and then guess what this one's going to be primal game data underscore bp underscore test mod just to keep things or keep things organized so all right and after we've done that our first thing that we're going to do is open up the primal game data and to open it up you just double click it like so and it will open the file up sometimes it'll take a little time so again don't get scared if it doesn't open up right away and now it's open and here we're just gonna put our mod name um, this is basically what pops up in the game when you press escape and you have a mod installed and it shows you the name of the mod um, and the description of it so you can put right here we'll just say test mod test mod not test and for the description we'll put um i just did a bomb burp don't worry about that <laughs> we're going to put mod description all right that's fine it doesn't really matter what you put there that's not going to change what the actual name of the mod is or anything like that so uh just to be organized and professional come up with something nice and usually i just put the regular mod name there anyway uh, back to what we're doing here so what you're going to want to do is um, search for game mode and you'll see default game mode pop up and we're going to click the little arrow right there that I just clicked it's going to come up with a drop down menu sometimes it'll take a little bit to load again Let's give it a couple seconds alright now we're going to look for our test uh, mod that we made folder so just type in test or whatever you named yours and now you see we have test game mode test mod that's what we're looking for that's this file right here you're basically just linking all the files together so the mod loads correctly and then you just click save and just to explain what this file is the primal game data file this file basically edits every aspect of the game um, like you can change pretty much anything here that leads to other things that are in the game like um, the master ID list is basically shows you the spawn number for each item in the game It has everything in there you don't want to mess with that because the devs will be adding and taking away things from time to time so you don't want your mod to conflict with that but yeah you have everything in here um, you can add additional engrams which we'll get into in a later episode um, let's see you got all the baby different bone names and stuff in here it's yeah, it's a lot in here it's definitely something to go through and just test out um, and mess with because you can change a lot of things in here that changed uh, things in the game so like the, even the, down to the icons that pop up when you enter your admin code and stuff like that so yeah we'll get to this a bit later this isn't really important right now except for that game mode change that we made so after you click save I don't know if I did it but I'll click save anyway you can just close that 
and now we're going to be opening up the um, test mod file the level the yellow level file just double click it it's going to ask me to save some stuff of course you want to save it save selected and let it load it's going to open up a black map alrighty once that's loaded what we're going to do here we're going to go over here to the right where our world settings are and for some of you it may not show up uh, for me uh, since I've done this before the world settings are right here if they don't simply don't worry about it I'll show you how to open it at the top up here you go to settings and just click world settings and it'll pop up over here already now we're going to navigate to primal game data right now it's set to generic mod we want to change this to uh, our test mod so you can just type in test or whatever you name yours we're going to put primal game data test mod now this step right here very important where it says uh, force load map name right right here um, we need to re erase this and change it from the island just change it to nothing leave it blank because basically what that does is what it says it's going to do it's going to try and force it's going to try and force load the uh, island map now if you do that your mods only going to work on the island and people that are running other maps such as you know Valhalla or epic islands or uh, anything like that won't be able to load your mod so that's very important that you leave that blank so you want so everybody can load your mod otherwise it's not going to be stackable all right um, let's make sure we delete it and once you delete it like you can just see I scroll down and then it came back once you delete it just click elsewhere anywhere to get the cursor off of it so it'll save that part all right now after the, we've changed the primal game data and the force load map we're scrolling down and we're gonna look for the game mode game mode override um, what it is right there game mode override and we're gonna change that to the test mod alrighty and you can probably hear my nephew in the background he's four or babysitting him right now um, and he's loud yeah he's all over the place anyway so we're going to change that to test game mode uh, test mod or whatever you named yours and then click simply click up here to the save button and it's going to save that and took the star away and everything and we're done um, now we're going to go load back up the test map. I just want to pair the file, um, recent levels, and then we're going to load test map to get us back to where we were. Give it a couple seconds. All right, we're back. We can move around about and everything. Okay. So after we've done that, we went into Primal Game Data and we've changed um, our game mode to read this game mode file here and then we went into our level to change it to read the primal game data and the game mode file as well now that you've done those three things um, you are good to go um, your mod is ready to be um, modified uh, we'll get into that in a different video but those are the three main steps you have to do in order to get a mod started if you don't do those three things your mod will never cook and it will never work so Remember those steps, go through it and uh, rememberize them, pause the video, whatever you got to do. And yeah, because no matter what type of mod you make, you're going to have to do that. So uh, we'll get back to it in another video and you guys have a good one.